What's up, everybody? Welcome again to another episode of Let's Get Buff with Coach Alex. It's me, Coach Alex. All right, I hope you guys are ready to get started. If you need to do a little special warm up for whatever reason, go ahead, do that now. If not, let's get right into it. Today, we are going to be working on our legs and on our arms, all right? I'm indoors here because for today, we will need a little bit of equipment. The equipment you're going to need is, boom, a couch or anything of similar height that you can put some weight onto, all right? We are going to be stepping onto the couch, okay? Sounds good. We're also going to be sitting down on it, so make sure that you can sit. And I know it sounds like, what, we're doing a workout class, we're going to be sitting on the couch, but I'll explain that later. All right. So make sure that you are warmed up and ready to go. Take a few minutes, do a few jumping jacks if you need to, but this is not a warm-up class. We're going to get straight into the workout. So here we go. Starting with our legs, the first thing we're going to do, we will do a little bit of a leg warm-up just by getting into our exercises. We'll start a little slow, and then we'll ramp up the speed. So first things first, you're going to stand with your feet shoulder-width apart. We're just going to be working on our squats. Now, when we do these squats, you're just going to be lowering. We're trying to go halfway here to, to a point where our legs become flat. When you do this, make sure to stick your butt out. Boom. All right? We're not trying to lean forward here like this. We're keeping our chest up tall. We're sticking our butt out. We're trying to drop to our legs being flat. Feet are going to be pointing forwards. When you squat, your knees are going to be pointing forwards. Don't let them come in like this. Keep them out. All right? Here we go, we're gonna do this 10 times. Ready? Standing up tall, hands together. We can go down, back up, that's one. When you stand up, make sure to squeeze your booty, all right? How do we know if we're bo our booty is being squeezed? You can actually put your hands on your booty. Well, we've done three so far. You can feel it working. So as you go down, feel it working, all right? So we're here, we're back up, that's five. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, here we go, ten. Cool. So we've done ten squats. Next, we're going to continue on our squats, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. This time, we're going to use our couch. So pick one foot, you're going to put it out in front. The other foot is going to go up on the couch, like so. What we're going to do is make sure you have your balance. You're going to be lowering down to where your knee is just above the floor. Your front leg bends at a 90 degree angle. Take a look at my knee and my toes. My knee is not really far forward like this. It is above my ankle and behind my toes. That's what I'm looking for. Then you're going to come back up. Okay? We're going to do this five times on each leg. So find your balance. Get ready. Here we go. We're dropping down, back up is one. Down, back up is two. Make sure you're trying to squeeze your belly while you do this. Down, back up is three. Squeeze your bum. Down, and up is four. Down, and up is five. Okay, we're going to switch legs. So, other leg up on the couch. Again, find your balance. Make sure your knee is not going to travel past your foot. Here we go. Down. Up, one, down, up, two, down, up, three, down, up, four, last one, here we go, down, up, five, cool. Next, we're going to change it up, we're facing forwards. We're going to be doing what I just call a step up. Um, let me adjust this, I don't really know the official name for it. We're just going to be stepping up on the couch and then lifting our knees. So it looks like this. Ready? One foot goes up on top. You're going to step up and do like a high knee and then step back down. Now, when you step back down, we want to try to, to avoid slamming down really hard, okay? We need to use our leg to, to lower ourselves down. When you do stand up, you are going to be activating your glute muscles. That is your butt. We're going to squeeze at the top and come back down, okay? Squeeze, back down. 
All right, we are gonna do this 10 times on each leg. So let's start with one leg. So pick a foot, I'm gonna go right leg. Ready? We're going up for one, up for two, keep it going. Three, we're not going super fast. Four, lift that leg high, five, here we go. Six, all the way up, seven, and up, eight, nine, last one, here we go, ten. All right, we're not stopping yet, we're switching legs, here we go. Left leg goes up, right leg on the floor. Stepping all the way up, coming all the way back down, nice and easy on the landing, here we go. There's two, three, four, Five, halfway there. Keep it going, guys. Six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. Here we go. Ten. Good. Okay. The last exercise we're going to do for this sequence, before we repeat it, all right, is going to be an offloaded squat. Now, what is an offloaded squat? Great question. An offloaded squat. This is where we're going to use our couch. You're going to stand with your feet shoulder width apart, just like we did before. But this time, we are going to squat down and come to a seated, a seated position on our couch. And then we're going to stand up again. All right? But that's a little too easy. So what we're going to do is you are going to squat down, stay seated, right? You're going to stand up and jump. Squat down, stand up, and jump. Down up and jump okay so it's all the way down put all your weight on the couch you're offloading your weight right that means you're putting it on the couch and then you're standing up and doing a jump all right when we jump i want you guys to push through your toes and then land back on your toes then we'll transfer our weight back down to our heels sit down so it's a transfer of weight from sitting up to our toes back down to sitting don't do this too fast where you go up and down, up and down. All right, I want you to stay in control. So we're gonna do this 10 times, you ready? Here we go, feet shoulder width apart. Coming down, back up and jump. Down, up and jump. There's two. Try to have quiet landings when you land on the ground, okay? Your jump should not sound like you're stomping. That's five, six, Seven, swing those arms up when you jump. Eight, nine, ten. Very nice. All the way up. Good. Okay, so that is our four exercises we're going to do for legs. But now that you're familiar with them, let's repeat. Okay? Starting from the beginning, I'll give you a few more seconds to rest. Grab a drink of water if you need it. If you felt like anything was painful, we're gonna modify that so you shouldn't feel any pain, all right? So take it easy. Remember the goal of this workout is just to keep pace with me, all right? If you go slower, that's fine. If you go faster, that's great too, but make sure you're doing it correctly. Sorry about the backlighting. Hope it's not too bad. All right, here we go. Feet shoulder width apart. We have 10 squats. So again, going down, stand back up, down, back up. Okay, ready? Here we go. Down, squeeze at the top, down and up, down and up. Stick that booty up, down and up, down, up. Down, up, I think that was five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, here we go, ten, good. All right, jumping right into it. One foot in front, the other foot goes up on the couch. We're doing our one leg squat, here we go, or our lunge, right? Okay. Doing this five on each leg. There's one, two, 
Three, remember that knee does not go too far forward. Four, last one, five. All right, switch legs. My right leg is in front, my left leg is on the couch. Find my balance before you start, ready? Here we go, going for five, four, three, two, last one, one. Very nice, okay, remember, what was next? Our step ups, okay? So pick a foot, we're going 10 on each side, remember we're not slamming down, we're coming all the way up. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, squeeze your booty at the top, four, five, knee up nice and high, six, keep it moving, seven, we're almost there, eight, only two more, nine, and ten. All right, let's switch legs, we got the other leg to do. Okay. My left leg is up, my right leg is down. Ready? Here we go. That's 10. 9. All the way up. 8. Here we go. 7. 6. 5. Last 4. 3. 2. 1. All right. Moving right on. We have our offloaded squats again. Remember, toes are pointing forward, knees are pointing forward. As we squat down, do not bring your knees down. We're sitting down, standing up and jumping. All right, here we go. Down, up and jump. It's one, two, three. Nice and quiet landings. Four, five. How do you land quietly? Use your toes, okay? We're landing on the balls of our feet first and then dropping down. That's seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! I think I did an extra one in there. That's all right. Okay, we'll get a little bit of a rest. We're going for that one more time. Woo. How you guys doing today? Good? Yeah? All right, grab a quick sip of water. Don't drink too much, because we're still moving. All right, here we go. Starting on the, the next set. Starting again with our squats. Ready? Going down. 10, nine, sink low. Eight, stick that booty up. Seven, six, really push. Four, five, forgot what number we're on. Four, three, two, one. Okay, moving on. Right leg up on the couch. Find your balance. We're going for five. Ready? Down and up. One, down, up, two, three, four, Five. Go ahead, let's switch legs. Left leg on the couch this time. Ready? Here we go. Down and up. One. Two. Coming all the way up. Three. Keep your chest up nice and high. Four. Five. Very nice. Okay. Moving on. We are doing our ten offloaded squat jumps. Okay? Feet shoulder width apart. Here we go. We're sitting down, standing back up. Ready? Set. Down. Up. Jump. Down. Up and jump. Down. Up and jump. That's three. Nice and controlled. Don't just fall down to the couch. Land controlled, then sit down. There's five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, last one, ten. Very nice. Woo! Take a little rest. I got one more thing planned for our legs. 
Okay. You guys ready? Last thing for legs. Here we go. What we're going to do is you guys are going to go down. We're going to line up with the couch just like we did before. We're going to squat down and we're going to hover just an inch over the couch. So if your couch is squishy, you can put your bum on the cushion, but it is only touching the cushion. It is not being supported by it, all right? So we're squatting down, just hovering over the couch like we can't decide if we want to sit down or not, all right? We're going to do this for 30 seconds. Follow along. Ready? Here we go. So down, sink nice and low. Stick that booty out, right? Squeezing tight, hold that position. We're still going, here we go. Hovering over the couch. Can't decide if you wanna sit down or you wanna get back up and grab some more Cheez-Its. I don't eat Cheez-Its though. All right guys, holding it there. We got 15 seconds left. Here we go. Stay with me. I'm here with you guys, all right? I'm doing this too. If you want an extra difficulty, arms up above your head. Here we go for 10, nine, eight, seven, we're almost there, six, last five, four, come on, fight for it, three, two, and one, don't sit down, stand up, very nice, guys, all right, grab a drink, that has been our legs, we're going to get into some arms, all right, we got four quick warm, uh, four quick exercises for you okay I'm ready to go Are you ready to go I hope so here it is number one using your couch you're gonna stick your feet up behind you hands go onto the couch here make your body nice and straight we don't want our butt up high we don't want our butt down low we're gonna do 10 couch assisted push-ups so this should be easier than normal push-ups on the ground we're trying to bend our elbows in, push ourselves back up high, okay? Bend in, push up high, okay? We're going for 10. Here we go, are you ready? Elbows bend, up, that's one. Down, up, that's two. Stay with me, here we go. Down, up, that's three. Down, up for four. Down, five, six. Body's nice and straight, squeeze your belly. Seven. Here we go, eight, nine, last one. All right, nice and strong. Bend those elbows, come back up for 10. All right, whoo. Okay, moving on to the next one. Here we go, not a break yet. So for this one, we're gonna do what's called a tricep dip. So this is gonna be the opposite of what we just did. You're gonna stick your feet out in front of you here. You're gonna try to make your body as straight as possible. Nice straight line, okay? Arms are behind us, resting on the couch. You're gonna drop down low. Booty is hovering over the floor, but not touching. Come back up. Elbows are bending, okay? We are gonna go for 10 on this, so ready? Shake them out, here we go, ready? Legs out, and down. Up, 10, down, nine, eight, Seven, we're almost there, keep going. Six, five, halfway, come on, let's go, let's go. Four, three, dip low, two, one, very nice. Okay, shake them out, shake them out. All right, next one's gonna be a little bit different. This time, our feet are going up on the couch. So let me demonstrate this really quick. You are gonna hold yourself in a nice plank position. So out nice and straight. Booties are not up high. Hips are not down low like this. We are nice and straight. What you guys are gonna do from this position, I'm gonna turn this way so you can see. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, we're gonna do shoulder taps. So that means we're going up touching our shoulder, up touching the other shoulder, okay? So it's right arm, left arm. When I do this, I need to stop myself from rocking side to side, like boom, boom, boom. So we're gonna squeeze super tight and we're gonna try only to move our arms, okay? We have to do 10 
on each arm. So that means that this is one, two. Got it? I'm going to count. Guys, we're not going for speed here, okay? Let's get ready. Holding yourself up. Here, I'm going to turn at an angle so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Body's nice and tight, squeezing your belly. Here we go. One, two, both arms are moving. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze your belly. Nine, squeeze your bum. Ten, very nice. Cool. All right, my arms are feeling good. They're getting tired. That's a good thing. All right, last thing on this sequence, and then we will repeat, is going to be a half handstand, okay? Now, this can change based off of your own strength level and skill level. Here's what it looks like, ready? Hands go on the ground, feet go on the couch. Your goal is to get your head down in between your arms. If this is easy for you, you need to walk your hands back so that your booty is up nice and high, okay? If this is still easy for you, put one leg to the sky, all right? If this is hard for you, you're gonna walk your hands out and hold a plank position here. Okay? So just like with the shoulder taps, but just doing a plank, all right? If it is easy, remember we're coming up and we can put one leg to the sky. We're holding this one for 30 seconds. Everyone get ready. Legs go up on top. Walk those hands in tight. I want your legs straight, your arms straight. Your head is in between your arms. Ready? Here we go. Holding it for 30 seconds. Everybody should be up. Keep it going. Come on. You guys can do this. All right. We're building those muscles so that you guys can get better at your handstands, better at your gymnastics, better at parkour. Last 15 seconds. Here we go. Whoo. Keep it going. I'm right here with you guys. Holding strong. 10, 9, 8. We're almost there. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. Walk it down. Woo! All right. That was pretty good, guys. What do you think? I think so. All right, we're going to do that sequence one more time. We're going to go a little bit faster because we're running out of time here, all right? We've already passed the 20 minute mark, I think. Okay. Get ready. We're going push ups, dips, shoulder taps, handstand hold. You ready? 15 more second break. And now when I say 15 second break, I'm not actually counting in my head. I'm just pretending to count. Ha, I tricked you guys. Now I'm giving you a little rest. Get those arms ready, shake them out. This is how you get buff, guys. This is how you get buff. You guys wanna be buff? I know I do, that's why I'm doing it. Hope you guys are joining me for it. All right, are you ready? Here we go. 10 more push-ups. Now, if the push-ups were really, really hard for you, you can find something slightly taller. You could even use a wall like this and do your push-ups here, okay? But I want you to challenge yourself. Find something that you can do it on that's difficult, but if you keep falling or you keep letting your belly drop or you keep having to stick your butt up, find something easier, okay? This is not about doing the exercise. This is about doing the exercise correctly, okay? Anybody can come over here and be like, yeah, I'm getting buff, I'm doing push-ups, but if they're doing it wrong, they're not actually building the muscles, all right? Here we go, 10 push-ups, nice and strong, try to keep your elbows in tight, all right? Fingers facing forwards, here we go, going for 10, down and up is one, and two, three, four, five, squeeze your belly, Six, seven, squeeze your butt, eight, nine, and last one is ten. Very good, guys. All right, shake them out. Get ready. We're doing tricep dips. Exact opposite movement. Here we go. Elbows are still bending. Feet are out straight. Hips are high at this front. Here we go. Drop it down for one. Down for two. Down for three. Here we go. Four, five, six. Bend those elbows, seven, eight, come all the way up high, nine, 
Last one, 10. Very good, okay. Shake them out, we're going for the next thing. We're not resting yet. Here we go. What are we doing? We're doing shoulder taps, okay? Plank position, feet up on the couch. Hands are moving, remember. We're doing 10 on each arm, so that means that if I count one for my right hand, I count one for my left, okay? One, one, two, two. Just like that, all right? You'll hear me count it. Here we go, plank position. Make sure your booty's not too high. Make sure your hips aren't too low. Nice and straight in the middle. Squeeze your belly, don't wiggle like a snake, all right? Here it is, time to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one is ten. Woo! Okay, get ready, here we go, right into the half handstand, right into the half handstand. Oh man, this telephone. There it is. Okay, sorry about that. Phone was ringing. This is a home phone. Do you guys even have one of those? Here we go. Ignore the phone. You guys probably don't even know what a landline is. All right, landline. What is Coach Alex talking about? He's crazy. All right, here we go. Half handstand. Feet up on top of the couch. Hands walking in. Remember, we are covering our ears or the arms. We're holding it. All right, guys? We're going for a minute this time. This is the last one you have to do. You can do it. Holding it up high. Here we go. We're at 50 seconds. We only have 50 seconds left. A little less than that now because I keep talking. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. I'm right with you guys. Squeeze that belly. Squeeze that. Those shoulders in tight, all right? Fingers facing forward. Try to grab onto the ground. Holding it there. Keep it going. Keep it going. We're almost there. We're at 30 seconds. Here we go. Here we go. We're holding it tight. Holding it strong. Come on. Keep it moving. All right, 20 seconds left. We're more than halfway. Holding it strong, guys, holding it strong. 15 seconds left. Here we go. Keep it there, keep it there. Come on, you can do this. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk it down. Woo! Awesome, guys. That was it. I'm glad you guys were able to join me for that. That was pretty tough. What do you guys think? I want you to let me know in the comments. Think if that was easy, if that was too hard, if it wasn't fast enough, if it was too fast. All right, give me some feedback here, all right? Thank you for joining me for Alex's, Coach Alex's Get Buff with Coach Alex, right? Join me next time, guys. It's time to get buff. Make sure you guys tune in for Let's Get Bendy. Should be streaming, well, probably right about now, right? Because at the end of this class, that one gets started, all right? Here we go. See you next time.